It's all low enchantments. Uh, I got 12. The combined total of them is... Yeah. Uh, I think Sean might be going first unless I don't want to say away. about it. Uh, 10. Um, 10's close. Alright, I'll just spike some box cars real quick. That's okay. Because <laughs> otherwise, you know, otherwise the cheapy Boro stack is going to go last. Uh, I got a 6. I got halfway to box cars. Yeah. I got an 11. That... Damn close. <laughs> All right, well, I'll go on the play. Well, good thing I don't have land tax or endless horizons in this deck because <laughs> uh, keeping it fair. That's count. Uh, my turn one play is going to confuse the hell out of Sean. In a good way or a bad way? Well, that, that's up to you. Oh, I suppose that's subjective. Yeah, so that seems subjective. Yeah, that does. All right, island, and I'm passing it over. All right. Draw. Uh, we're going to start with this wonderful swamp, and I'll pass the turn. Ooh. All right. Planes, Sol Ring, Lightning Greaves. Whoa! Whoa! Then. Whoa! Hang <laughs> on. Instant target at the wow. table. Wow! Right? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I, I'm going to one-up that, if that's cool. It's more so the fact that I had a soul ring. Flamekin Village tapped. The better Hollow the Bandit Lord. Uh, oh wait, I'll reveal an elemental for my hand. Okay. Just to flex, just to flex on you and have it come in untapped. <clears throat> that doesn't do anything. I mean, works for me. <laughs> uh, pass. All right. Draw for turn. Uh, Rogue's Passage. And tap Ooh, both. You, I'm so proud of you, Sean. You actually turned this Eric Smithy's deck into the deck I told you to. I didn't. <laughs> this is the same deck it's always been. You played Eric Smithy's as a ramp deck, not a Voltron deck. Yeah, it is a ramp deck. I just have Rogue's Passage because an unblockable 1212 is fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pass it over. I should change it into a Voltron deck, though. I, I do agree with that. Uh, let's play an Exotic Orchard. And... Uh, that's... Uh, that's all I got. Land tax? Ah! Pick my planes back up for a Ballista. I like it. I'm done. Planes pass. Planes pass. All right. Untap. Draw. Ek, what was that first land you played? Flamekin Village. Uh, right. So taps for red, right? Taps for red, awesome. and then you can uh, red and tap it. Target creature gains haste. Yeah, gotcha. It's really good with um Gisella. Okay. Mostly just wanted to make sure my orchard tapped for all three of my colors. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Cage Five. Sun with uh, three counters. Uh, Wayfarer's Bobble. And I'll pass it over. All right. Let's uh, draw for turn. Uh, play a mountain. Uh, well, let's cast Kelsian with no creatures in play for him to poke. Uh, so I guess I'll just stab someone. Uh, who's got the most mana right now? Four, one, two, three, four. Ah, it's Poke Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Uh, just two. And then I'll pass the turn. But it's irrelevant to, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Commander two. Two commander. I have to remember to mark this today. Mm-hmm. Oh. Tax, obviously. <laughs> what? You have less lands than other people? No. I did put land back in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's kind of had, like, a, a nut draw. Yeah. Oh no, it's another land. 
If only I could go somewhere with it now. <laughs> I had that that draw where it's like, surprise, I have stuff. I don't know what the stuff does. I was expecting that to be another land. So this whole budget thing's kind of annoying, because like, on the one hand, I would love to put Forbidden Orchard in this deck, but on the other, it's like $20, and that would be like a fifth of my budget. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about point system in Camlin, that's taking it to the intense. Right? It's a lot harder to build on a $100 budget than I thought, especially when you're playing three colors. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Daxos, okay. That's not hot Daxos, though. Give him some boots. Um, in response to you equipping it, um, no, I got nothing. I have no mana tap. Cool. I'm going to end my turn by discarding a land. Uh, All right, then. Draw. Let's. Oh. I can do the cool thing. Oh, EK, your hand. Yeah, I mean, it's just a bunch of land. No, it's and, still just and the the rebel arc you guys have seen. True. You guys are gonna know. You guys are gonna know my hand card for card by the end of the game. <laughs> I mean, fair point. It's kind of just how feather feather goes. Uh, I'm debating whether or not I want to do the thing. Um, at the very least, it's cool and it gets the game going. Uh, yeah, so I'll play planes. Tap three and play feather. Uh, and pass. Alrighty. If there are no, if there are no responses. No, I'm good. There's um, there's path that there's path and there's swords mana up. Draw for turn. Gonna play a forest. Um, go two, uh, three, and four, and let's play Ricksmithies. He's a land. He's Any, anyone have tra anyone have Trailblazers boots in their deck because <laughs> they get they get unblockable because a Ricksmithies is a non basic land. It is true. It is true. Um, I think that is going to be it for me, so I'll pass over to stuff. All right. On tap. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Everyone's uh, commander is out. This is good. This is exciting. Mine's asleep. That feels weird. <laughs> it feels weird for all of them to come out in the same round. <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, I mean, that's what happens when everyone has their decks built around their commander. This is true. It's very and true. everyone's playing. And everyone's playing like three cost commanders. Uh, okay. Well, let's throw a fist of the demigod on Kelsian. Right. So it's black and red, so it'll get plus two, plus two, wither, and first strike. Um, also known as um, not quite infect. <laughs> Almost infect. Infect. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to attack Sean. Before yep. damage, I'm going to poke Feather. Uh, and then after that resolves, I'm going to go for the Throat Feather. Of course you are. All right. Okay. So I, would, I would like my experience counter. And... Yeah, and you, you, you know what happens when Feather gets to actually exist in a game. Uh, and untap? Yeah. Um, so I mean, so... I, 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 don't, I don't have anything, but like you didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, so one, two, three, four, and then one for the experience. So it'll be five commander five. damage. Cool. All right. Thirty-five on the clock. Not thirty-four. Thirty-five. And I'll pass the turn. Uh, I'm not going to search this. Time. Play a swamp.
I'm gonna put an underworld connections on my planes. Okay. And experience. Bob, I feel like I've stolen your experience counter. <laughs> it's the evolution that we needed. It's not really an evolution. Shout out to the RK post token, though. I will be done after that. All right. I'm going to sad untap. Aww. And then get ready to give Steph another inevitable experience counter because that's just how this game's gonna go. <laughs> uh, tap four, and I'll play not as cool Aurelia, and then pass because what else am I supposed to do this game? All right, all right. Uh, let's see. I will untap. Yay, mana! I recommend these as a good boy. Draw for turn. Um, do 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 do. Um, oh boy. Uh, what do I actually want to do here? I kind of need a blocker, amongst all things. Um. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to work with a. Mm. I mean, a blocker would be useful. Yeah, I concur with that. Uh, okay, we're gonna... I've played Daxos. He's he's not a blocker. <laughs> <laughs> he's not? Okay. All right, I'm going to start off with uh, Mouth. So I'm going to make a 3-3 three, three Hippo. Those hippos are too big. <laughs> it's a 3-3. Three, three. They're supposed to be 1-1s, one, thank you. No, it's a 3-3. Three, three. It's not... It's, uh... This is the better hippo. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. Um, all right, how much we got? Two, four are open still. Thanks. Uh... All right. Um... So that was one spell. Work some thesis at four. Uh, I'm going to do Sphere of the Sun, removing a counter with my island, and then I'm going to play Broken Bond, and I'm going to hit the Lightning Greaves. I don't know what that does. Destroy target, cool. enchantment, or artifact. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Plot twist, I have no land. <laughs> so it was a naturalize. Yep. Uh, post Eryxmethes to three. Then I'm going to tap Eryxmethes and sack the way first, Bobble, and pass it to Steph. Alright. Fetch me a forest, I think. Hmm. Uh, let's play a Shadow Blood Ridge. Uh, we're going to cast a Ronom Unicorn. And then, hmm, let's uh, go to combat and swing at Bob with the Calcium. No block. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five still. And then second main phase, I'm going to cast a Loxodon Warhammer. Oh boy. And I'll well, pass the turn. Like I said earlier, Daxos is not a blocker. I'll pay a life to I swear I know what I'm doing. We believe you. 
Bob, have we ever doubted you for like even a second? Probably. Yeah, actually, that's a fair point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to say go. So, Steph, you have one experience counter, and Sorry, I was, um, Bob, you've got one as well, right? Responding to a client. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll get you. I've been down D20 is my experience on my commander. On tap. I'll draw. Uh, let's play. Let's play those planes. Ooh. And then. Okay. One, two, for 10th District Legionnaire. Okay. And then I'm realizing I messed up already this turn. But that's okay. It was uh tenth district, right? Yeah. I played a plains when I should have played a mountain, but it's too late now. That's okay. You haven't drawn anything. Nothing's changed. I'm quite okay with you playing the correct land. Yeah, I'm good with it. No issues right. here. All right, I'll play this mountain instead of this plains. Hmm. All right. Then I'm going to tap red, tap Flamekin Village to give 10th District haste. Doesn't he have haste? Oh, it already does. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So that, that mountain didn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's double haste. Yeah, it has super haste now. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I, still get, I still get to do what I want. Reading the card explains the card. In case you didn't know. Uh, I'm going to go to combat. Uh, mentor triggers from Aurelia. I will have her mentor herself. Or, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. I'm, her, her plus two plus oh um, trigger activ activates first. I'm going to have her give herself plus two plus oh. So she's a four five with uh, vigilance and trample. Ah, right. And she has Mentor. That's slightly scary. So I'm going to swing. I'm going to swing Aurelia at Sean and 10th District at Mr. Raska. Hey, Bob. For it. Do, do, do we want to try and kill it, or do we think he has combat tricks? That's a tough call. Because <laughs> I, I can shrink it, and then you can block it, but I don't know what's in his hand. Well, yeah, and, uh, I mean, Aurelia's going to be able to pump the 10th district plus one plus one anyways. Uh, it won't, because the uh, you need to target something with Mentor, and it won't target anything that has lesser power when uh, the triggers go on the stack. So they're both uh, power uh, the Mentor... The her plus two plus zero oh happens at the beginning of combat. Mentor happens when it attacks. So oh it's, yeah, you're right. It's yeah, two yeah, separate. You're right, you're right, you're right. So um, I'm gonna mentor tenth district. So it's a three three. That happens on the attack trigger. Yeah, you're right. Um, I thought it was both when they attack, but I see. I, I see it. Bob tapping some lands right now. Make a couple friends. Friends. Tap. Friends are good. They are what? What's? Uh, my experience. They, they're equal to my experience. So they're one ones. Um. See when he said Dax was in a blocker. Er, no, uh, Dax was in a blocker. These guys though. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are the blockers. Yeah, but yeah. that meant I didn't get to play anything, so they don't. They didn't get any better. Uh. Um. So you're gonna block? Uh, yes. With uh, one or both? Just the, just the one. Okay. Um, in response to blockers and before damage, gonna tap a planes and 
Defiant Strike the Array. Let's Defiant Strike Tenth District because I want to. I want to scry and I want to draw. So it'll get plus one plus zero oh until the end of turn, and I draw a card. And then when it gets targeted by a spell, it gets a plus one plus one. And you scry. So I will stack my triggers so that I can describe and draw. Well, you have to, because your spell won't resolve till after you've scribed. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to bottom that. Uh, so, yeah, plus one, plus one goes on. So it is a 4-4. Four, four. Then I will draw for Defiant Strike, and it gets plus one, plus zero. So it's a 5-4. Yep. I'll put my 1-1 one, one back down beside me. Yeah, so before damage, um, I am going to poke your 1-1, one, one, Bob. Yeah, I, I, I figured you were. Yeah. Just taking the 5. Oh, did you swing them both at me? No, oh, no, no, no. Just the 10th district. I didn't know which 1-1 one, one she was poking. Uh, oh, yeah, no, this, this, the one that was blocking. This, this, yeah, this is after blockers are declared. Gotcha. It's just before the 10th district kills it, she kills it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm leaving Bob with his other token for now. For now. For now. Uh, I, I made two in case you decided <laughs> I shouldn't block. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to be safe. Uh, I'll go to my second main. Tap two, and I'll play a Sword of the Animus. That's a good card. That, that is a thing. A very good card. Uh, and then I will pass. All right. And then I see Sean took his four. I did. His four secret commander damage. It's the other commander for that deck. Uh... The the Aurelias and Gisela end up being the commander because everyone kills Feather on sight at all possible moments. So you don't actually you don't actually end up playing this deck with feather. I can't imagine why. One two. Because one mana repeatable draw card on like six different cards Three, is really good. Four. Five six. Um. Architect, archetype of imagination. Good card. So, creatures you control half flying. I have a Belder Feldegriff now. <laughs> uh, creatures your opponent control lose flying and can't have or gain flying either, as well. That's okay. Um, yeah, that's probably going to be for me. Eric Smithies goes down to two. And I'll pass it over to Steph. All right. I'm going to untap. Draw. Play a mountain. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's hex the six creatures I don't control. Ah. Um, and with the hex on the stack, I'm going to poke Bob's other one one. Yeah. So what's Hex do? Sorry, is it destroy or exile? Uh, destroy it, six creatures. Okay. For six mana. Cool. Uh, oh. I, I had to get creative with my board wipes. That's a... there's plenty. There's plenty of cheap black board wipes. Yeah. Oh, also, for sure. Can we take a moment to appreciate Hex's flavor text? When killing five just isn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually All good. Right. Um, and then, uh, EK, you've got the most life, so I'm just going to poke you with the unicorn for two. Okay. And then I'll pass the turn. I'm going to pay life to record. Am I ripping any lands out of my deck? I am. Hey, uh, Steph, quick question. Yeah. Um, does a Rexman Thief keep his converted mana cost while it's still a land? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. 
Relevant to now. Yep, just his type has changed. Cool, okay. And his subtypes. He is not a Kraken currently. Yeah, he is currently a land. Yeah. Technically oh. legendary land. Yes, he retains his super type. Super types are the best. Yeah. Huh. Like world and snow? Yeah. Like like those. <laughs> <laughs> also basic. Yep. Leia land? Tap the soul ring for a thought vessel? Yeah. Mana that gets mana. Mana that gets mana. Effective mana. Two, five, Daxos. He's <laughs> back. I don't feel like he was gone for that long, but he, he he's back. Long enough. I'm done. I just got rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's Anything weird? else? Oh no, I already uh, passed turn. Oh, I I just saw. It, it, it's weird tapping one mana to get a soul ring, to tap it for two to play a thought vessel, which taps for one. <laughs> I'll untap. I'll draw. Um, staff activated my trap card by playing that card. By the way. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What happened? What did I do? Uh, I'm gonna tap five. You gonna play the card you showed us earlier. I'm going to play Revel Arc. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that works. And get Aurelia and Temp District back. Does Aurelia have haste, or is it just Temp that has haste? Revel Arc's when it dies, when it leaves, isn't it? No, 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 that's Karmic Guide. Uh, Aurelia does not have haste. When no. Revel Arc... yeah, the, the, other, the other Aurelia has... Um... Um, read your Revel Arc. Yeah, you either, you're either hard casting it and not getting your stuff back until it dies, or you're evoking it for six and getting your stuff back immediately, but you don't get the Revel Arc. I want my stuff back. <laughs> that works. Uh, then I'll go to combat. Right, row. And um, attack stuff for two because she doesn't have any blockers. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I'll just keep reanimating that Revel Arc all game because uh, that's about all I got. Mm. Oh wait, I could have given, or I I should have been, even though Aurelia doesn't have haste, it, it's still, oh, still it, a, a it, beginning it, of combat tr trigger. Yeah, technically, so technically, technically, strict legionnaire could have been a four two. I'm just taking the extra two. If you if you say so. Stop forgetting your triggers. <laughs> I haven't like, like I said, I haven't played this deck in eight months. It's all good. This deck, this deck, this deck literally has not been updated except for one card since um, M twenty. Oh man! And it wasn't even an M twenty card that went in. I feel like we need to switch that and change that. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of Theros cards that could go in here. Uh, I, I have put two cards in this deck. Since Daxos was released, huh? Was no, one of them yeah. Daxos? Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I built this deck twenty-four hours ago. Yeah, uh, that, that'll, that'll do it. <laughs> In my basement with a box of scraps. Huzzah! Oh wait, yeah, I didn't have. I actually didn't have to tap uh, Temp District either. Oh, it's got oh yeah, uh, thanks to the Aurelia. Oh right, okay, yeah. Vigil Aurelia gives a vigilance and trample because it is multi -colored. All right, Sean, awaken your land. I'm going to try. We'll see if I can get enough mana to do that. Unfortunately, the stuff in my hand is like expensive. <laughs> uh, so after a cast trigger, okay, because this is actually going to be relevant. So on a cast trigger would be a Rixman Thief's transformation, and then the spell would resolve after that, correct? Correct. Okay, that's good to know, because that's relevant. Uh, draw. Forest. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eh? All right. 
I don't like the board. The board is scary. Two, uh, three, four. Uh, we're going to Whelming Wave. I'm going to return all creatures to their hands except for Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents. Well, joke's on you because there's I have conspiracy on the board right now. <laughs> naming Krakens. Ta-da! <laughs> that actually be a really interesting trick. It's a well, black card. It's a black card. I know. Goodbye, demi fists. To be honest, I don't think Daxos has ever been in my hand before. You're welcome. I didn't kill it. <laughs> uh, Cage Sun for a green two, three, four, five. Soul's Majesty with on the trigger, removing it, making Eryximethes a creature, and then I'm gonna draw cards equal to the power of target creature I control, which is twelve. Hang on. Uh, you do have to be able to target something first. That's why I was yeah, asking on the it, cast. When it right. Can. So to to clarify a little bit further, um, you have you'll cast it yep. and then it'll go on the stack. You have to choose your targets when you cast gotcha, it, okay. and then after it's on the stack before it resolves, Eryximethes um, trigger will. Uh, okay. Will so during first. the target phase, I wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Okay, so it's not it's fine. not a creature until after Soul's Majesty has finished been uh, being cast before it's resolved. That's fine. Then what I'll do is I'll do Rush of Knowledge instead, uh, which still takes a counter on there. So I'll just draw four cards. Ooh, I only draw four cards instead of 12. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, R Rush of Knowledge works the other way. Yeah, that's where, why That's why I was asking. Just like, to... it, it, It's irrelevant because it had its converted mana cost anyways. But, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's um, why I was trying to ask earlier. I was wondering. It, 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 but because of how Rush is worded, like... If it was looking for a creature like that, without targeting, it would see it like that. Right. Yeah. The, the word "target" is the definer here. Yeah, which makes sense. What um, a stupid word. So yeah, that's uh, it for me. I got a twelve twelve that's tapped, and a right. full hand of cards. Yay. Uh, all right. So I'll untap. Uh, draw for turn. Let's play a planes. My first of the game. I'm so excited. Ooh. Uh, let's play. Hmm. Let's play an Ergolem's Eye. Um, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Now. Um. It's not quite. All right, let's just recast Kelsian. One mana shower to my head. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I am going to pokey K because he's still got the most life for two. Uh, sorry, for five. Yeah, that's not a poke. No, I <laughs> I I am very new to this whole experience thing. I've never played a commander with one before. <laughs> I guess you could say it's a it's new fun. experience. Yeah, oh, that's that's five commander damage too. It is. He he just slowly gets bigger and bigger as the game goes. Oh I no, pass. not five because I haven't taken seven of that. <laughs> she she said you are going to take a poke. Technically, he, it's a, a quarter, hard a quarter of my a quarter of my commander damage. It, his so. pokes just get bigger and bigger. That's all. Yeah. Feel the love. <laughs> it, it's a very. Uh... Interactive poke. Yeah. <laughs> what Bob said. Well, it's a it's a poke in the eye, according to Kelsian's flavor text. Yeah, that's like a gouge, like a spear, like three hundred style. <laughs> Daxos. Getting tired of casting him. <laughs> At least it was cheap to cast. It doesn't change the fact that I'm getting tired of casting him. Wait, 
for a Mesa Enchantress. Ooh. It's a good card. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Do you need more card draw? Uh, no. I, don't. I disagree. Card draw is very uh, important. Yeah. I actually need a black mana instead of that white. So I can cast Night Dealing. Sorry, Night Dealings? Yep. Okay. Because I have so much I'm going to, going to attack with right now. So whenever a source you control deals damage to another player, put them in any theft counters on night dealings. Pay four and remove X theft counters from it to search your library for a non-land card with CMC X. Reveal it and put it in your hand, then shelf your library. Huh. Interesting. That's pretty sweet, actually. I'm done. And it's Kamigawa. Yes, it is. All right. Untap. It's, it's one of those tutors. You've got to know your deck, though. <laughs> that, that's fair. <laughs> so it's totally in blackjack, right? Uh, well, no, um, I'm not allowed to search. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Forgot about that. Let's tap two, play tenth district, and then let's pay two more, equip it with sword of the animist. Oh boy. Uh, and then I'll play a land for turn two. That's probably important. Um, I will go to combat and swing at Sean for three. Yep. Uh, on attack, I get to pull a basic from my deck. All right. Um, I mean, I got no blockers, so or anything else happening before the three? No. Cool. Uh, I will just go to 28. I'll grab a mountain. I feel like you got something to stop me from going at you with a 12 12. Yeah, I, I, I do I do, do like this tactic. <laughs> Bait with a little Fiathan and see what happens. <laughs> attack and find out. Yeah, see, that's what makes me worry. <laughs> or, or, or attack them and I won't do anything. Yeah, see, I would have if believed I, that I, more if, if I have something. <laughs> I feel like I would have believed that more if you hadn't cracked at me for three, but anyways, that's beside the point. I I just want to ramp, and uh, Steph can block for free. This is true. This is true. Right. And um, and put there's, there's stuff going on on, on that Orzov board. I just want my land. Yeah, that I won't question about needing land drops. I understand that all too well. It's a ma it's a mana hungry deck, okay? Oh yeah, that, I I sympathize. <laughs> I'm playing Boros. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> your break is you're playing white. <laughs> I mean, Steph's playing <laughs> Boros with the good color, leaning heavier into the good color than Boros. So I just want to point out, I'm the only player playing blue. Yeah, but you don't actually play that deck like a blue deck. That's the difference. Yeah, you got a point about that. I'll, I'll grant you there. <laughs> uh, it's the end of my turn. Cool. All right, I'll move to untap. I got a 12-12. This is exciting. I, I, I have two very specific cards I need to put on this deck. Draw. All right. Um, so for starters, I'm going to tap a Rick's with these. And then I'm going to tap the Rogue's Passage and Sigmund Signet. And we're going to play out a Kiora, Master of the Depths. We're then going to plus one Kiora to four. So I'm going to untap up to one target creature and up to one target land. So Rexmethes and my Rogue's Passage are going to untap. Hmm. I don't like the shenanigans. <laughs> Why not? It's fun. 
It's not like I can, you know, make a Rick Smith these unblockable for uh, with with four mana. <laughs> and he he conveniently has four mana up right now. Technically, I have five. Shenanigans. <laughs> it's not shenanigans. I promise. No, um, that won't deal with the land. <laughs> Let's see. Um. I actually feel like I need a bit more card draw to be completely honest. Uh, go in. We'll use the last charge counter on Sphere of the Suns. Actually, no, I won't. I'll untap that. Sorry, I still have Rogue's Passage. Uh, we'll leave that at one. I will tap my island and then Rogue's Passage. And I'm going to play Soul's Majesty, targeting Rixmithies. So I'm going to draw 12 cards. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, I think, did I play a force this turn already? I feel like I did. Count your lands and then look at how many ramp cards you've played. Uh, well, I've missed land drops. That's the problem. Okay. Oh. I'll make the assumption that I did. I'll play it smart. Because um, I feel like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I feel like I did. Okay. Um, -da 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 -da. 12 in hand. Um, all right. Um, I think I'm gonna try and just be nice. So I'm actually gonna tap a Rixmith these. No, don't be nice. Get this game going. And Curian Elves is gonna come out, and I'm gonna choose blue. I don't have to mark it. And then I'm going to go to cleanup and discard. 2, 3, 4, All 5, right. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have to discard 9 cards. At the end of your turn, I'm going to poke the query in elves. Yep, that's fine. You'll get an experience counter. Okay. Let's keep that. Right. Draw. 3, 4, 5. Hmm. Six. All right. Uh, let's cast a contagion class. Um, I'm gonna put a negative one counter on a Rixmithies, I guess, since it's the biggest thing on the board. <laughs> Make him a little bit smaller. Sure. He's an eleven eleven. Um, do you guys care about what I discarded or? It'd be nice to know. Sure. Stripped uh, River Winder Island Trommel Kratos. Deep Sea Kraken, Aether Squall Ancient, Far Seek, Lumbering Falls, Forest and Island. Yeah. Um, okay, so then we're gonna go one, two, three. Let's attach the locks on Warhammer uh, to the Kelsian. Uh, and then I'm going to go to combat and swing with Kelsian at uh, Bob. Come on, stop this. <laughs> Shenanigans. Well, I've gone around the table. At least she's not rolling a dice to figure out who she's attacking. That is a valid point. I know. Uh, so it's coming at you for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine currently. So I take seven and you eat the Enchantress. Are you pinging the Enchantress to death? Uh, yeah. Um, so, and then I'm also. Well, I going... actually take one more. I'm actually going to Contagion Clasp as well, so I'm going to uh, proliferate my experience and uh, the negative one counter on Arithmetis. Oh no, he's a 10-10. Yeah, no. Uh, so it's going to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, yeah, it'll be 9. Oh, wait. And... You're up to a total of 11? Uh... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's eleven power, and I poked the thing for one before damage. Oh, I take ten. Yeah. 
Uh, and I gain uh, 12 life total. 48. And I'll pass the turn. Well, now to try to figure out how to get it off the board, since it can sneeze at me to death. Well, the, the good news is tapping it uh, isn't commander damage. Steph, you have seven points. Like, I mean, uh, I it, have, it, can't, yeah. it can't go at creatures anyways. Yeah, it can only hit creatures, so. Yeah, yeah. But it tramples. Yes. I don't exactly play big creatures. <laughs> what am I doing? I do have another swamp of you, good. All right. Time to mash this deck together and see if it'll spit out the one specific... There's two cards that will help me right now. Da-da-da-da! I feel like I had to do that in relevance for Bob. That's oh. kind of relevant. All right. <laughs> it's like, this isn't the card, but it's another card. It's, it's, a, card I it forgot, I, it's a card I forgot to put in here. Oh, I mean, that works. Like that happens a lot. Yeah. Okay, so that pays for that. One, two, three, four, five. I have to make a dude. Uh-oh. He made a dude. Oh, wait. I don't have to make a dude. I'm dumb. I need to read my cards. It's what I need to do. That's five. The Eldest Reborn. Oh, no. Uh, are you getting rid of mine, or are you getting rid of Sean's? Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Oh, I, oh, we both do. That's even better. Sacrifice Kiora? Oh, I only have one choice. Yeah. Uh, okay. Experience. Huzzah! I was mean. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Staff, I'm swinging at you for two, just because I'm already in a lot of pain because of you, and I want some nice healing tokens. That's fair. Was that with your commander? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes, that's right. Daxos did stuff. Daxos damage. All right. I understand it's not a normal thing, but. <laughs> um. I have to say, the, the budget really isn't hurting my. Uh, the deck building much. No, I think it's working pretty good. You've got it optimized pretty well. Mm. Yeah, you got like I don't know. You you have to you just have to get creative and find all the cheap proliferate cards that yeah. no one wants anywhere else, and then you're well, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll need to uh, root around for a couple more. I've got two in the deck right now. I was trying to fit um, Contagion Engine in the deck, but it's twenty two dollars on TCG mid. Ah. Oh. So I was like, uh, like I, I just ultimately had to cut it because I was like fifteen dollars over the limit with it in, and I still had to add like three more cards to the deck. So I'm like, oh, okay. oh that's, that hurts. <laughs> like I could probably manage to squeeze it, but I, I'd have to like revisit. Oh, I, I just realized card. that um, Bob passed the turn, so I'll uh, untap and I will draw a pretty sweet card that I don't want to because it's not very good. It's just sweet.
I'm just going to do a thing. Um, let's tap three for a burnish chart. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and we will call it there. All right. On tap. Yeah, I missed a few of these proliferate cards. I, I might have to revisit a, a bit of this. <laughs> okay. Snow-covered island. Um, do, 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 do. Sphere of the sun. Um, with two forests. Uh, so that'll be the last charge counter from Sphere, making a blue. So I'll just kick that off to the side so I know. Um, freed from the real? Targeting a Rixmithies? Go. So you have infinite mana now. Yep. Oh. 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 What? So I can... Tap a Rixmithies for a green and a blue, and then I can pay the blue mana to untap a Rixmithies. So I can make him yeah, green. He has unlimited green. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to do that a whole bunch of shenanigan times. Um, and then we're going to leave Rixmithies untapped for one round on that. Um, I'm going to start off with a... Um, do one... Two and well, you, you don't have to be tapping your greens. You have unlimited green right now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Punk a point. Of course, I have it. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I did tap the limiting two. factor. The limiting factor is your blue right now. Yeah, yeah. Which is what I had to count. All right, so sphere of the sun. Those two were tapped. That was already for peed. So tapping an island. Going to stroke of genius. Target player is going to draw X cards. Um, Steph, draw 200 cards. 200? I don't think I have that many. <laughs> Welp. You know, you know, yeah, I just died. <laughs> <laughs> Welp. Island, Rogue's Passage on my Simic <laughs> Signet, and then a Rixmithies for the third blue. I had a Crackling Doom on top. Blue Sun Zenith. Bob, draw 200. No. <laughs> My hand's already big enough. <laughs> draw <'em. laughs> I'm going to shuffle Blue Sun Zenith in, and um, it's over to you, EK. Good old, some good old heads up, I guess. <laughs> and Rick with these is tapped. He is it tapped. Would seem correct. correct. Oh, uh, on your on your end step, I'm gonna tap three and sack burnish heart. Cool. Uh, grab two basics. Wait, why is he still tapped? Because he, he needed the blue. Yeah. I needed the oh. blue mana for Marix with these. Sadly. Oh. If Cura wasn't dead, I would have been fine. But. <sighs> All right. Well, this this got interesting really quickly. For you, maybe. Uh, well, actually, I mean, actually, the feather is very strong heads up because your loops don't have to do as much heavy lifting around a full wheel. If you've ever seen feather in like standard or pioneer, give it the legacy card pool. Oh, I, I used to laugh at it in standard. Um, there are loops that I can go through that make me have um, immunity to a lot of things or ramp out all of my lands from my deck, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The real uh, question is, can you do any of those this turn? Maybe. Let's mm -hmm. see. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Okay. So now that I don't have to worry about a damn thing anymore, 
Let's do. One, two, three. Four, five, cast feather. Yeah. Let's, let's start with that. And. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tap a red and um, flamekin village to give feather haste. Cool. And then I will attack you for three. Yep, no blockers. In, in the air. Three commander damage. Yeah. Uh, then I'll pass the turn. All right, so I go to 24, wait, 20, yeah, 28, and then three from Feather. All right, let's see. We'll see if my win con can get this through. Uh, see, so we're at two. You're still 10-10. That is relevant. Cage Sun, you are on tap, but you are worthless. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play a Forest. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. Uh, seven, in eight. response to you getting a forest, I'm gonna path a Rex Mathis. So you mean after the forest is put you in play? You can't respond to that. Yeah. You, oh, you, you at, at, at the first possible moment, a Rex okay, Mathis is yeah, getting Sean, Okay. Okay. Well, Sean has to either pass priority or the stack. Has something has to go on the stack. Yeah, yeah. I'll let. I'm gonna put something on the stack. Yeah. You're you're going to do something. You have to. <laughs> And Rex Mathis is going to get pathed. Which is fine. Simic Sky Swaller. Okay, so Rex Mathis is getting pathed. Fine by me. Uh, I got a 6-6 six, six Flying Trample and can't be the target of spells or abilities. That is fine. And a basic land. Yep. Oh yeah, path to Exile, right. Yep. Into play tapped, right? Correct. Cool. I should also point out you can float your infinite green before he dies. Um, is that actually relevant? Probably, you may as well. Uh, it would have been relevant if I had had to tap my mana differently. So if I had to well, tap my well, forest instead of an island. Well, technically, you don't have to pay green for any green for the sky swallower's cost. So any yeah. Any, oh any yeah, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You technically have something. Fair point. Fair point. So that actually be. Just so you just need those. to be. You just need to be, Yeah, you just need to pay yeah, whatever yeah. the blue is that he needs to get paid. Good point. Good point. Forgot about that. And if any green does matter, because you can recast the rings with these. It, yeah, now it does matter. That is a good point. Forget I could actually <laughs> remember it for my own combo. Forget it when it actually matters. Hey, remember yeah. that time you hive mined yourself to death. <laughs> yeah, and, and, I do and remember that. Is, and this is why I thought about doing this on your. In your main phase, or in my like on my turn, that is fine. All right, so we're gonna recast Eryx with these first. Yep, you don't have un you don't have unlimited moving forward, but you no, I right still now. have it for this turn. So the path will be yeah. on. That's the one into play tapped. Simic Signal would still be untapped. We're gonna recast the Eryx with these, which is now back in tapped with five, and then I'm gonna use the green floating plus the f for that blue, play a Tatiova. Which means I would admit that's fine. Wait, when did uh, wait when did Cure die? Uh, Eldest reborn from Bob. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would have had more mana to work with stuff, and could have done a little bit more if Cure was still alive. But life, man, life. Um, Rixman, these goes to four, and I pass the turn. Yeah, stuff. The card I cards I desperately needed against you were one of my vows. Ah. Tap up, keep draw. I will play a mountain. Um. Oh, okay. I I like the look of this. Now, because you targeted a Rexmith these with the path to exile, I went to the grave and not to exile. Correct. It goes to the command zone. No, 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 no. Not not a Rexmith these path to exile. Yeah, because yeah. it didn't target. I have to target, tar I have to target, my, I have to target okay. my own stuff. Okay, that is what I wondered. Uh, I'm going to tap five and play Mirrorwing Dragon. 
That is Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell that targets only Mirrorwing Dragon, that player copies that spell for each other creature he or she controls that could that the spell could target each copy targets a different one of those creatures. All right, cool. That sounds a lot like Radiance. Yeah. Funny you should say that there are some Radiance cards in this deck. I might have, <laughs> I might have chosen the wrong targets. <laughs> in hindsight. <laughs> yeah. Um, teach you to go around the board. <laughs> Tech, I, yeah, actually, that's true because I did go stuff then to you, Bob. That's true. Yeah, that is kind of around the board. Fair point. <laughs> Duly noted. All right. Uh, let's. It's a six six, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Same as guys, I mean, yeah. 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 Much uh, better than the original Sky Swallower. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. Alright. Untap, upkeep, and draw for turn. Do 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 play a forest, gain a life and draw a card. Uh, going to tap a forest to float a green. Um, and I'm going to tap the Simic Signet. And I'm going to cycle Edge of Autumn. I'm going to sack my tap forest. So I draw a card. Uh, and then we'll do two and two. And I'm going to play Storm Surge Lieutenant, uh, Storm Surge Kraken, reducing Rick's Matisse to three. Uh, Lieutenant is active, if I'm not mistaken, because I do control my commander. Um, so he is going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, with Hexproof, and whenever it becomes blocked, you may draw two cards. Um, you've got a lot of mana open. Six mana open. Hmm. Two, three, four, five. Eh? Already played a forest for turn. Hmm. I'm going to crack in with the Cynic Size Squalor. Okay, I'll take six. Okay. And then I'll pass it over. All right. Yeah. I'll untap. I'll draw. I'll play a Wood of Foothills. Okay. Which I'm just going to pay the one and crack right now. All right. Um, let's grab. Where are you? I think you're in here. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a grab a mountain. Yeah, this is looking like a um, a commander's quarters land base right now. I kind of love it. Okay, uh, this turn's actually about to be pretty cool. All maybe. Right. Maybe. I, I, I think, I think it'll be pretty cool. Mostly because I don't have much else I can do, and I just want to do something. I mean, that's, that's fair. How many cards are in Ooh. hand right now? I have three cards. Okay. I have two. 
Okay, so I am going to start by one, two, three, four. I'm going to replay Aurelia. Yep. And then... I'm going to pay two and equip Sword of the Animist to Mirror Wing Dragon. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go to combat. Sounds good. Uh, the Kraken does not have flying, correct? No, it does not. It is Hexproof okay. only. Okay. That is fine. Uh, I'm going to have Aurelia give plus two plus zero to Mirror Wing Dragon. Sure. So it is a seven six okay. right now um, with trample. Then I'm going to get in there for 10. I'll take it. And how big is Feather? Still three? Feather's three. Okay. So 16 uh, up to six. I am going to go to my second main phase. Yep. I'm going to tap five. And have Chandra's Ignition target Marrowing Dragon. Okay. What does uh, Chandra's Ignition do? Target creature you control deals damage equal to its uh, equal to its power to each other creature and each opponent. So Marrowing seven feathers three. So my creatures will take ten. And, and take 10. Aurelia, Aurelia is two, and it re they resolve separately. Right. Um, so I'm just counting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stack the I'm gonna stack the order. So that it does Aurelia, then Feather, then Mirrorwind. Yep. So overall, I'll take 12, and my creatures will take 12. Correct. And I have no responses to that, so my board will die, and I will go to 4. Yeah, and then because Feather's on the board while this is happening, uh, Chandra's Ignition gets exiled and goes to my hand at the end of the turn. Yep. So I'm at 4. Uh, Feather will go back to the command zone, and then Aurelia will die. All right. And Mirrowing Dragon dies as well? Um, no, it will live with one health. It's taking 12, though, overall, is it not? It's taking five. It's each other, not all. Five. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. That's why I ordered it the way I did. Yep, so that makes sense. The Mirrowing Dragon wouldn't die anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that makes but sense. I, I, ordered it, I ordered it so that um, Feather and uh, Aurelia got to do their triggers. Yeah, yeah, because you want the dragon to live, and their triggers go off first. They're lower damage, and then the dragon yep. still gets off his. Yeah. Yep, yep. Your board still gets wiped. Yep. And I go down to you four. You still go down to four, and then I have a seven six. Cool. My go. Or sorry, I have I have a five six. Five now. six. All right. That uh, works. Yeah, it's your it's your go. Cool, cool. All right, let's go on tap. Draw for turn. Um, that is gonna be GG. Yeah, GG, man. That was good. Ooh, that worked. Yeah, I I didn't get the answer in India. Yeah, I wasn't getting nothing. I had a feeling. Uh, my, like, as soon as uh, um, like as soon as I, I killed Steph and Bob, I had a feeling it was only gonna be two turns away from either. That you was were why you didn't use one of the card draw spells on yourself. <laughs> that's why, because so in hand I could. With the Rexmith is on board, like I, I was two turns off from killing EK with the answers that I had, but with the Rexmith these answered, my I didn't have much and knowing EK's got Feather and Aurelia, like I'd be dead in about two turns, so 